today we're at Disneyland to check out all the new summer merch here at Disneyland. So let's get going. You all seem to enjoy my Disneyland merchandise video from last time. And while I'm not much of a merchandise person, I thought that we would do that again for you since it's summertime and see what new merch has landed in the stores. And here at the Emporium, we are really only going to focus on things that I have never seen before anywhere in the Disneyland Resort. So we're not going to look at every single item that is available, just something that I've never seen before. For instance, this Disney 100 backpack. Now, I've seen plenty of Disney 100 merchandise, but um, maybe this has been here a while. I'm, like I said, not the most observant with merch, so maybe you've seen some of these things, but this is really nice looking. And that price is $78. I feel like this goes right along with a theme of another video that I filmed today, which was why Disneyland is better than Walt Disney World. Not quite uh, the same idea, but everything is better at Disneyland. Could not find a price. We have some Jack Skellington merchandise available over here. And look, we have some Frog's Breath, a, a diffuser, $59.99. Halloween time at the Disneyland Resort is quickly approaching, as well as this full display of Jack Skellington merch. <laughs> with an Oogie Boogie hat. What's the hat cost? $29.99. Well, I just love this shirt. Now that's Cinderella Castle and that is definitely the Walt Disney World monorail. So I don't know why we have that here at Disneyland. Here are some other Haunted Mansion ears. That's pretty neat. And this Haunted Mansion sweatshirt. Now you don't really need a sweatshirt uh, in September when uh, all the special Halloween stuff's going on, but that's nice looking. The cost on this is $59.99. Check this out, some elemental merchandise. We have what look to be magnets, magnet set right there. Uh, a shirt down here, t-shirt, another t-shirt over here. We have ears, these ears are $34.99. And it continues to wrap around here with this sweatshirt, a sweatshirt, zip up hoodie actually by the looks of it. And anything over here? Oh yeah, some stuffies, plushes. Uh, I've not actually watched Elemental yet. I need to, so I don't know who any of these characters are. Uh, here's a, a kid's shirt. And it looks like a water bottle as well. Oh, another kid's shirt on this side. And some toys. Uh, what is that? Nine piece set. Nine piece set. For a price of $29.99. We saw that shirt that said everything's better at Disneyland. Everything's better with a Dole Whip. I want to add that amendment. Everything is much better with a Dole Whip. We're going to the Adventureland Bazaar now. We're going to do what we did in those previous videos. Again, though, this is only to look for new merchandise that I've never seen before. So if I see the same stuff, we're just going to keep going. Now, the last time I was in here, I felt like um, they did not have this. Maybe it was in here, maybe it wasn't, but I'm just noticing it for the first time. So we have some Moana merchandise, some t-shirts, uh, a sweatshirt, this like little dress thing, uh, some toys as well. Additionally, they just have a huge like Hawaii style theme here, uh, Polynesian, that sort of thing. Got more Moana merchandise, but the uh, I Lava You shirt, I love that short. It's probably one of my favorite Disney shorts, Lava. And here we also have some Stitch merchandise as well. A lot of merchandise. I can't look at the prices for everything here, but I will just briefly scan through. Ooh, I like this mug. This is a good day to have a good day. <laughs> oh, and look, a pineapple stitch. I love that too. The very mention of pineapple. I had to go get a pineapple spear right there next to the Adventureland Bazaar. We are back in New Orleans Square now. Gonna check out the Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean shops. And the first one's gonna be right here. Port Royal Curios. And the first thing I see is an Oogie Boogie plush I haven't seen before. A lot of the same stuff that we saw in the other stores, but a few different items as well. So I thought I'd quickly pan through here. Like we have these Oogie Boogie ears. These are the hard plastic kind. Um, the price is just says orange. Is this a doormat? It is. You get a Haunted Mansion doormat. And that price is $39.99. Pop across the way into the Pirates of the Caribbean shop. Here's a couple of shirts I might not have seen last time. I wasn't paying super close attention in here, so uh, some of these may be here from before. 
I love this ornament though. That's the Pirates of the Caribbean at Walt Disney World, not the one at Disneyland. And then here's another one. Right over here at Eudora's. This is gonna be the Tiana themed store. And nothing new in there that I saw. We popped over to Critter Country now and we're gonna head down this way. But beforehand, we're actually gonna swing to the left here at the Briar Patch and poke our heads in here. Here's the set of ears I've not seen before. I feel like I'm not seeing these ones either. Or potentially even these ones. A lot of different ears in here that I don't think I've seen before. Being that the 4th of July was last week, they have some patriotic ears out here. I don't know how much longer they're gonna be here though. Now we're coming back here to Pooh Corner. They have this whole line of merchandise back here that's not completely new because I did see it before, but I've never put it in a video. And so that's um, this line of merchandise with Pluto. We have a lot of different Pluto style items here with the same sort of pattern. Even a Frisbee. You get a Frisbee too. even socks. <laughs> We're over at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge now. Straight ahead is the market. Most of the stuff in there is gonna be the same from month to month, so we're not really going to go in there. Instead, we're actually gonna go ahead to the Droid Depot. And the Droid Depot is located in this building right here, but we wanna go in the entrance on this side. Now, I could have told you that everything in here pretty much stays the same too, except they got rid of one of my favorite items. They used to have uh, a R2-D2 like steel bowl over here and they got rid of it and they added in some more droids and I wanted to show you what those droids were. So this is a fairy droid accessory kit. That's uh, quite interesting. And they also have over here DJ Rex from Oga's Cantina. Looks like you can push the button and oh, Twist, maybe? Nope, not doing anything. Well, his try me is broken. Here's a nice sweatshirt. And this is a nice looking little shirt as well. R2-D2 over here. What is the R2-D2 one cost? $44.99. We also have this shirt. And a BB-8 shirt over here. What's the BB-8 shirt cost? Tag got ripped off. And they're all ripped off. Here's a shirt for IG-11. As well as a kid's shirt for the Droid Deca. We left Galaxy's Edge through the Frontierland exit. Now we're going to go through Pioneer Mercantile. It's a ways away. I'll pop in when we get there. Pioneer Mercantile is the second largest gift shop in Disneyland outside of the Emporium. And so we're going to come in here and see what we can find. Check this out. This is a little different. I don't know quite what these are called, but these merchandise items have like tiny little characters. And these are um, some charms, like keychains. But then they have a t-shirt with those little styles on them. We have a notebook which uh, also has some bookmarks, looks like in that style. We have some markers in that style, maybe pens, this probably pens, yeah, pen set. Uh, what's this down here? Oh, like a little pen pencil holder. They have one for Spidey. It looks like we've got a Chewbacca one and uh, a Nemo. Oh, this, like he's got like a little plant in him. Is that maybe what they're for? Sure, you could use them for a variety of different things. Even a Dumbo one down here. How much is the Dumbo one? $19.99. There's also a button-up shirt in the same style. A like lunchbox sort of bag. And um, a bento box. Bento box in the same style. So, oh look, even PJ pants. 
got PJ pants in that style as well. We found more merchandise in that style. This is a kickball and a sweatshirt. And is this like a little baby onesie? Is it a onesie? Yes, it's a onesie. Mexico Epcot World Showcase. We've got some Epcot merchandise in here. They've got a sweatshirt with it, a, a regular shirt with it, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm really bad with uh, ladies apparel, uh, that type of shirt as well. And we have a doll, Minnie Mouse doll, and I'm not sure if, yeah, that back, or that purse does look like it probably belongs in the set as well, even though it doesn't specifically say uh, World Showcase, but it has the, um, like, Mexico Pavilion sort of vibes to it. Look at these plates. Does it have a picture of all of them? It does. And here's what each of those plates look like. This is a nice plate set for $39.99. This is like a really nice heavy duty ceramic type plate. It's not plastic, it's, it's ceramic for sure. Seize your moment for $14.99. We have some coasters for $24.99. This water pitcher here. Serving tray, very nice merchandise. If you're enjoying this video, hit the like and subscribe button so that you can receive more Disneyland content. I come here all the time. And uh, you can also drop a comment and let me know how much you appreciate it. And if there's anything you'd like me to do differently in these videos, I'm trying to show the prices. That was a comment that I got last time. I'd like you to show the prices a bit more. So I am making an effort to do that. But if you have any other suggestions, I'm all ears for that because Again, merch isn't really my speed, but I'm happy to do it for you guys if this is, like, exactly what you want to see. Time to head into Fantasyland, going through the castle. We're going to head over here to Merlin's Marvelous Miscellany. And that's straight into this door. And this Peter Pan shirt I don't feel like I've seen before. It's a nice looking shirt. $59.99. A variety of other Peter Pan merchandise items for you to check out. Sweatshirts, shoes, bags, stuffies. Ooh, up here we have some Mary Poppins merchandise. Check this out. United Kingdom. Got the double-decker bus, Big Ben in the background. Actually, I think they're calling it Elizabeth Tower now. Big Ben's the bell, but the tower is Elizabeth Tower. This way to Wonderland. That's a sweatshirt, and it costs $54.99. In the previous video, we showed a lot of displays with these Joey Chu designed merchandise items. Most of the stores that used to have that don't carry it anymore. Merlin's Marvelous Miscellany is the only place so far throughout the entire Disneyland park that I've actually still seen a few Joey Chu items left. So if you like that style, this is where you're going to want to check. Our next stop on the Summer Disneyland Merchandise Tour is going to be this little building outside of It's a Small World. That's the It's a Small World store. Now there's not guaranteed to be anything new in this store, so we might not find anything. Except that maybe we did. Here's a nice It's a Small World shirt. I don't know that I've seen this before. They have It's a Small World merchandise in here as well as a lot of other Disney merchandise. But these two items I feel like are new-ish. And then we have an ornament set of ears here as well. Now this I know is new for certain. Disney Animators Collection Littles. So here's Aurora's Cottage. Here is Jasmine Surprise Feature Playset. Here is the Rapunzel Surprise Feature Playset. Down here is the Arendelle Castle Playset. Lilo Surprise Feature Playset, Tinkerbell Surprise Feature Playset, Moltenry Island, and Arendelle again. Down in Mickey's Toontown, there's only one store. It's called Engine Ears, and I feel like that store is too new for them to have changed any merchandise in there, so we're not going to go down there. Uh, another reason that I don't want to go into Toontown is that even though it opened four months ago now, it is still a crowded madhouse up there. Every time I go in there, it's hardly any space to walk, uh, especially in the gift shop. I just don't like filming around heavy crowds. 
not that it's not busy anywhere else in the park. I just don't feel like I'm in people's way or bothering them whenever I'm out in the open like this. Our final stop is Tomorrowland. There are two major stores here. Our first one is going to be the Star Trader. Looks like we have some Return of the Jedi 40 years merchandise here. This is new. 40 years of Return of the Jedi. A little playset there. Oh, for $125. Not a playset, just a collectible figurine set. Some Ewoks. A hat. This doesn't really look all that great, but I guess it's supposed to be like the hats that they wear uh, in Endor, when they're on Endor. $39.99 for that hat. It does say Return of the Jedi 40 on it though. And we have some Force Spirits. So we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, and the Hayden Christensen Anakin Force Ghosts, Force Spirits here. Also a lot of Ahsoka merchandise over this way. Ahsoka shirt, Ahsoka ears. That's not Ahsoka. And more 40 years of Return of the Jedi outfits. Oh, look at those Ewoks, that little shirt there. Oh, and you can get the bow and arrows. You can get one of the horns, the Ewok horns. That's neat. Check out this puzzle. So I have one of Darth Vader. This one looks a little easier to do, and of the same sort of style, but for the Return of the Jedi set. So that's pretty awesome. This is uh, a little past to do here. May the 4th be with you shirts for 2023. Don't know how much longer these are going to be here. Probably while supplies last, but they do have a hat and some shirts. Also uh, another one up here. They just have all sorts of new merchandise. Wow. Check this all out. Some coasters here. We have the plates up there, this vase. Uh, here's pretty much everything. They've got cups as well. I don't know what this is from. Uh, oh, I guess it's just like Greedo or something. Uh, what do we got down here? A bowl? There's the plate set. Oh look, Han shot first. <laughs> A button up shirt as well. Different set of ears here for uh, the cantina. Here's a nice pillow. Looks like they might also have a blanket here too. That was it for Star Trader. Now we're gonna come over here to Little Green Men's Store Command. Big display for Elemental. Of course, this is a Pixar themed store. And so I expect to find Elemental merchandise. Everything that we saw previously is available here. I'm not sure if this is new. I know Zerg definitely isn't new, but I feel like I've never seen that shirt before for Lightyear. It could have been here. Lightyear's been out for a while now, and I just hadn't paid attention. Uh, but they also have some other Lightyear merchandise down here. The ship, his, uh, I think I've seen that vehicle before, but they also got this laser sword. Let's go ahead and make the 30 second walk from Disneyland to Disney California Adventure. We're gonna go into DCA. The first store which we're going to check out is the Five and Dime as well as Elias & Co. This is just one big store. Looks like still a lot of Joey Chu stuff over here. They got rid of it pretty much everywhere in at Disneyland Park, but uh, Disney California Adventure still has it. Here is the same style of merchandise we saw over at Pooh Corner, and from here on out, if we've already seen it in this video, I'm not gonna show it even over here at Disney California Adventure. We're just looking for unique new merchandise and where you can find it. This had to have been over at Disneyland and we just missed it, so I'll show it here. We have a Madame Leota ball, the try me, what's it do? Ooh, ooh, that's really fun. How much? It is $29.99. Here's some additional merchandise in those little character ones. We have these really tiny pants with some characters there on the side. And then over here, we also have this big giant pillow that is in that same style as well. So two more items that we didn't see that are in that new style. And that pillow is $34.99. I don't think I've ever seen a Kermit the Frog lounge fly over here at uh, Disneyland Resort anyway. Of course, they have some Muppets stuff over in Walt Disney World, but uh, here's a Kermit the Frog lounge fly. And that's $78. All of these displays over here at the very end of Elias & Co. are different. 
Um, they've got just classic Mickey designs, but designs that I have not seen before. So these are new merchandise items. Check out that Mickey right there. Let's go check out Knickknacks here at Pixar Pier and see if we can't find any new merchandise in here. We've got a shirt here for the birds. And that shirt costs, uh, no price listed right here, $25 each. When you buy two, regularly $29.99 each. Nothing else really in there that's new, except I did see a full elemental display in there like we've seen in some of the other stores. Our next store to check, and the most likely to have some new merchandise, is probably Bing Bong's Sweet Stuff. Here we have shirts for some Pixar shorts, one for Knick Knack. They actually had that shirt in Knick Knack's store. And we also have one for La Luna Starcatcher, and that I didn't see. So since we have two items to mention to you, I thought we would do that. These shirts are, once again, priceless. <laughs> Check out the little Toy Story alien figurine set. Got nine different alien figurines, deluxe figurine set it says. Over here we have some more Coco merch, kind of like we saw at Pioneer Mercantile, but it looks to be different items. Different shirts are available here. They even have a Coco puzzle, 500 piece puzzle. One of the last stores worth checking out is Russian River Outfitters over here in the Grizzly Peak Recreation Area. And we struck out in there all the same stuff that they've had for quite a while. Uh, no new designs on t-shirts or anything like that. Well, that's it for our time here at Disneyland, taking a loop of the entire park, checking out all the stores, trying to find some new merch for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments what types of videos you would like to see, and then click this video right here to keep watching. We'll see you again next time.